this video I'm going to start the mains with floating or flying clamps uh, using my drop weight stringer. We start the mains the same as we do with uh, any tennis stringing machine. Feed the string, in this case it's going to be from the throat to the head of the racket. And we're going to make sure it's the string length is even on each side so it's symmetrical. And now we're going to pull tinch on each string. This is just to set our first clamp. Since this is a drop weight stringer we need to make sure the tensioning bar is parallel to the ground. Once we have that, we're going to put our first floating clamp in the center of the strings. And then once we have that clamped, we're actually going to release tension. Now, it may seem silly because as soon as we release tension, the clamp's going to fall because there's nothing holding it up. But uh, it'll make sense uh, after we tension that first string. So, so make sure to keep those strings in order. And we're going to go ahead and feed the next main string. It doesn't matter which one. But go ahead and feed that next main string and now we're going to tension that main string. If you're using a drop weight, make sure the tensioning bar is parallel to the ground. And we're tensioning that string. And what this does, it tensions that one and a half strings uh, from that tensioning bar all the way to where that center clamp is. And the other part of that, uh, or where the other string is on the other side of that clamp is, is not going to be tensioned. We'll do that next. So once you have that string tensioned correctly, go ahead and clamp that down. Now we can go ahead to the other side and tension that one correctly. So we will have uh, uh, the tension correctly on each side. So after getting that tension correctly, as you see, we have the clamps on each side. And now we can just go ahead and string just like we do normally. Uh, every time we feed a, a main string, we can clamp and move higher. The clamps are a little bigger than the uh, the standard fixed clamp, so if, if you can't get directly against the the racket frame, don't worry. As long as you're you're close, that's fine. Because uh, once you tension that next one, it'll you'll be able to get closer to that racket frame, so it should even out. And once you have this setup where we can tension each string and just continue with the floating clamps on each one, uh, it's it's the exact same process as we do with every other uh, tennis stringing machine or any other clamp. Uh, once you get to that last main, you'll you'll clamp that last main, tie it off, and it's the same process as stringing the mains for any tennis string with any type of clamp. 